If you're hesitant to replace one of these TPMS sensors or simply rotate your tires on your vehicle because you're not sure how to match the individual wheels to the location on the vehicle, today I'm going to show you how you can very easily do that with one of these relearn tools. These are readily available and I'll put some links in the description for literally only $10, $15. You can very easily do this yourself at home. Today I'll show you how you can very easily do it on this 2018 Beale Conclave and depending on which model or which year you have on various different manufacturers, they all have the process usually in the owner's manual. So if you look in the owner's manual, get it to service mode. But once you get into the service mode, then the process to use this relearn tool is the same on every single vehicle. So how to do this on this 2018 Buick Enclave, we're going to go on the vehicle and I'll show you what controls that you have to set in there in order to get into service mode. We'll start the relearn process. Then we're going to take our TPMS sensor tool here and we're going to hold that down at each one of these wheels. So we'll start over there on the driver's side. When the vehicle honks, that means that one's matched to the driver's side. Come over here to the front passenger side, do the same thing, wait till it honks, go back there to the right rear passenger honk. Then you're going to finally go to the driver's side rear as well and then it'll honk two times. When you'll honk two times that means the matching process is complete. So the first thing you need to do here is we'll hold down the start button without touching the brake because we don't want it to start for five seconds. All right so now we're in service mode so make sure you have your emergency brake set so ours is already set there so we'll toggle over to the TPMS sensor area so right here and you're going to hold down the enter button here. And it's going to start there. So that means we're ready to begin the process. All right, so there we just heard those final two honks, so that means the process is complete. All right, so now that we're back in the vehicle, we can see that our front right one is registering a PSI, unlike before when it was malfunctioning. So now we've confirmed that we fixed our problem by replacing the sensor and also matching that sensor to that wheel. All right, well, hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, please hit that subscribe. But again, I hope this helped you out, and thanks for watching.